Muamua, which is an object that we detected in space that you believe could possibly have been extraterrestrial in origin, meaning from some sort of a civilization. Right. In the vast expanse of cosmos, humans have always wondered about their place in the universe. Are we truly alone? Just a speck of dust in the grand scheme of things? What if I told you that we might not be alone after all? That there might be something or someone traveling at an extraordinary speed through our solar system? Join us as we uncover how Joe Rogan just revealed declassified images of Oumuamua. But before we get into the details of these revelations, let's talk about how Oumuamua was discovered. Just nine years after the University of Hawaii's administration launched the impressive Pan-STARRS-1 telescope, it achieved a remarkable feat. Astronomer Rob Warwick, utilizing the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope, observed a breathtaking celestial event on a crisp October night in 2017. Initially mistaken for a typical comet or asteroid, further examination revealed a remarkable truth. The detection of an interstellar object in our cosmic vicinity this cosmic traveler, with its slanted orbit and incredible velocity, led scientists to conclude that it originated from beyond our solar system. This mysterious object needed a name fitting for its observed qualities, and scientists settled for Oumuamua, meaning a messenger from afar, arriving first. As astronomers studied this cosmic messenger, some shocking data were extracted. Oumuamua exhibited irregular brightness fluctuations that defied easy explanation, indicating an elongated shape five to ten times longer than its width. Astronomers employed the light curve as a tool to decipher Oumuamua's shape. This luminous graph traced the object's changes in brightness as it tumbled gracefully through space. Surprisingly, Oumuamua appeared brightest when observed from its broader side, suggesting dimensions of approximately 377 eft in length, 364 eft in width, and 62 asikyat in thickness. Its albedo, or sunlight reflection, stood at 0.1, a characteristic commonly seen in cometary nuclei. The most interesting aspect of Oumuamua is the lack of a tail, which separates it from comet or comet-like entities. Could it just be a mere coincidence, or is it a feature only akin to artificially made objects, or should I say, alien-made objects? Beyond its shape, Oumuamua's trajectory through our solar system added to the mystery. Contrary to expectations, it ventured exceptionally close to the sun before continuing its journey below the planetary plane at an astonishing velocity of approximately 196,000 d or mph, surpassing any human-made object. This rapid motion led to a hypothesis published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, suggesting that Oumuamua originated from a binary star system. Lead author Alan Jackson, an astronomer at the University of Toronto, proposed that over 95% of rocky interstellar objects like Oumuamua likely come from binary systems, where the gravitational interplay between two stars could propel them. Another captivating hypothesis suggests that Oumuamua's remarkable velocity is a result of encounters with celestial bodies within its home star system. In this cosmic choreography, Oumuamua may have interacted closely with planets or massive objects, utilizing them as cosmic gravitational slingshots to achieve its extraordinary speed. This gravitational assist, a well-known phenomenon in space exploration, resembles the maneuvers employed by interplanetary missions to conserve fuel and gain momentum. It is speculated that Oumuamua engaged in celestial dances, harnessing gravitational forces to propel itself through the vast expanse of the universe. In the realm of intriguing and controversial speculations, the idea of Oumuamua as a hydrogen iceberg emerges. This concept stems from Oumuamua's peculiarities. The hypothesis suggests that Oumuamua may be enveloped in a thin molecular layer of hydrogen, the lightest and most abundant element in the universe. This hypothetical hydrogen ice could shield a denser core, possibly composed of metal or rock. The audacious notion proposes that as Oumuamua journeys through space, the gradual sublimation of this hydrogen layer could account for the unexpected accelerations and spins observed. To understand it, better scientists are currently embarking on a mission to intercept Oumuamua and study its features before a second visit to Earth. This space adventure is all about exploring the mysteries of these interstellar visitors. 
picture it like scientists are gearing up for a cosmic road trip. But instead of a map, they're using high-tech gadgets and brain power. The planning stage is in full swing, with experts from different fields like astrodynamics and imaging working together. They're figuring out the best way to send a spacecraft to catch up with Oumuamua, which is no small feat considering the mind-boggling distances involved. The spacecraft itself is like a high-tech detective armed with tools to analyze Oumuamua's secrets. Engineers are making sure it can handle the challenges of space travel and gather valuable information during its close encounter with this interstellar wanderer. Imagine the excitement as scientists fine-tune the spacecraft's trajectory, making sure it dances through space with precision. Now, before diving into the details of these images, let's quickly discuss a few facts of this mysterious celestial body so we can decide whether or not to believe the conspiracy theories around it. Comparisons to asteroids and rocky objects in our solar system further emphasize the exceptional nature of Oumuamua velocity. Interestingly, some experts propose the intriguing possibility that Oumuamua may not be a natural occurrence at all. Instead, they speculate that it could be an artificially crafted object, meticulously created by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. Yes, we're talking about aliens. According to this theory, Oumuamua could be part of an incredibly advanced alien spaceship or equipment designed for exploration. Its elongated structure could enhance its resilience during interstellar travel, while its propulsion system might enable precise maneuvering through the cosmos. Other researchers, such as Wesley C. Fraser, have been diligently studying Oumuamua puzzling rotation. By analyzing brightness measurements from multiple telescopes, they have discovered that no single rotation period can account for the observed variations in brightness. Instead, Oumuamua appears to be tumbling in an excited rotational state, exhibiting a peculiar and irregular motion never seen before. One theory to explain Oumuamua irregular rotation is the spin-induced outgassing theory. According to this idea, volatile substances beneath Oumuamua's surface are exposed to solar radiation as the object tumbles through space. This exposure causes the volatile materials to vaporize, creating tiny gas jets that act as thrusters, altering Oumuamua rotation. This implies that Oumuamua composition may contain volatile materials that sublimate under the influence of solar radiation. Another theory suggests that Oumuamua tumbling motion is a result of a past collision with another object, which distorted its shape and set it into an irregular spin. This collision might have occurred in Oumuamua home star system before it was ejected into interstellar space. However, due to limited observational data, the exact nature of such a collision and the object involved remains speculative. Further analysis of Oumuamua shape, composition, and surface features could provide valuable clues supporting these theories. Now, let's jump into the exciting revelations made by Avi Loeb, the guest on Joe Rogan's podcast. Avi Loeb is an Israeli-American theoretical physicist and cosmologist. He is currently the Frank B. Baird, Jr., professor of science at Harvard University, where he chairs the Department of Astronomy. While the astrophysicist has done research on topics of his field such as black holes, gamma rays, early origins of the universe, etc., he is mainly known for his controversial theories on aliens and how to find them. In a captivating recent episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, the globally acclaimed podcaster hosted Avi Loeb as his guest, revealing previously undisclosed information about Oumuamua and shedding light on surprising developments within the scientific community. Avi Loeb presented a compelling argument regarding the strange object from space, known as Oumuamua. He emphasized that Oumuamua was the very first object to have visited our vicinity in the solar system, moving at such a high speed that it couldn't be bound to the sun. This unique characteristic immediately piqued his curiosity and set the stage for his investigation. The prevalent belief was that Oumuamua was a comet, but there was one glaring problem. It lacked a cometary tail. This discrepancy led Loeb to question the nature of Oumuamua further. He highlighted another intriguing aspect. The object exhibited an additional push away from the sun. Typically, this push is caused by the evaporation of a comet's ice. But as Oumuamua lacked a cometary tail, the source of this push remained a mystery. Loeb's inquisitive mind prompted him to consider alternative explanations beyond the conventional comet or asteroid classifications. 
Loeb delved into the fascinating observation that Oumuamua brightness fluctuated by a factor of 10 or more. He likened the situation to a razor-thin piece of paper tumbling in the wind, changing the projected area that reflected sunlight. This strange behavior indicated that Oumuamua possessed an extreme geometry, most likely a flat shape. By analyzing the reflected light during its rotation, Loeb deduced that Oumuamua was a flat object, roughly the size of a football field. Further investigations using space telescopes failed to detect any traces of dust or gas behind Oumuamua. Loeb joined forces with his postdoctoral researcher, Shmuel Bialy, to explore potential explanations. They arrived at an intriguing possibility. The sunlight reflecting off Oumuamua's surface was responsible for the object's extra push. This concept aligned with the observed behaviors of the object, but it required Oumuamua to be extremely thin, similar to a sail. Even though Lowe presents some compelling arguments, he faces backlash from his companions in the scientific community. He compared himself to the likes of Galileo Galilei, who faced backlash on his claim that the Earth revolves around the Sun instead the other way around, which was the popular belief at that period of time. He urges the scientific community to look at new discoveries with an open mind, keeping all possibilities on the table, instead of discarding a few due to the scientific dogma and the lack of technology to understand them completely. Moving away from the podcast, there are also a few other conspiracy theories around Oumuamua that explain its origin. One of them includes the possibility that the government declassified the information around it to steer the subject of conversation away from the political issues at hand. The other one is Basid around it being the beginning of the doomsday, but to be fair, people do get frantic about any new discovery and believe it to be the sign of doomsday. Which theory should you believe? That's a choice we'll leave for you to decide, however, one thing is for sure, the mysteries of cosmos are endless and we can only hope to understand them all someday.